Hi everybody, Darren Burroughs here, hope you're all well. Uh, very, very short, quick video today on procurement, um, procurement of materials. And I'm working with somebody at the moment, helping them out on the project management of a, uh, an extension and refurb that they're doing. And it came, it sort of got flagged up a, a couple of days ago that uh, they've been getting some prices in on, um, on kitchens um, and kitchen appliances in particular and had realised that they weren't comparing apples to apples because they got um, a quote in that hadn't, it wasn't clear where the VAT was. Um, so they'd, put, they'd listed the prices down and then suddenly realised at the end that they hadn't, they hadn't allowed the VAT. So they were 20% out straight away, uh, which is obviously not a good place to be. Um, so it might seem like um, uh, kind of fairly obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people miss out um, this sort of stuff if you're, not, if you're not totally on the ball with it. So what I tend to do is I have a spreadsheet in place with a, a column with all of obviously all your list of materials and your list of equipment, uh, another column with all your product codes, especially if you're looking at appliances for kitchens stuff like that, and then you've got your, your lists with uh, sorry for each supplier, uh, and within that I tend to have three columns. So I'll have the ex VAT price, the inclusive of the VAT price, and then delivery. Um, so quite often your delivery charge isn't specified on your um, uh, on the quotation. So it's something you need to ask. So by having those columns, it prompts you to ask about the VAT, prompts you to ask about the delivery charge. Um, and then I'd also normally have a, have a fourth column which will have lead time on it. Uh, because obviously that's a really important um, element to it. You might have one supply where stuff's immediately in stock and you might get it within 48 hours. You might have another supply where it might be a, a week to 10 days. So you, you need to know that obviously for your, for your ordering once you're, you're plugging it into your, um, into your program. So uh, so yeah, so that, that, those are my tips. Um, that's obviously what we've done on, on this particular job now. So everything's all um, itemized and, and, and very, uh, uh, you know, and very organized. So yeah, hope that's been helpful. Um, and I'll be back soon with some more tips and uh, and some learnings. All the best. Cheers. Have a good day. Ta.